Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Francois and welcome to Mr. Francie Reads. Today I am going to be doing another one of my tag videos and when I say my, yes I've created my second book tag. So I'm really excited to get to that one. Before I do, I just want to take this moment to say thank you to each and every one of you who have been subscribing to my channel. Uh, at last check, I had 295 subscribers, which is the most that I've had since I started BookTube. So I now have a goal to get to 300 by the end of the year. Can I achieve this? We'll find out. But thank you so much. I just, oh, you guys, all the feels, Thank you, and I'm sending you all that love back uh, back to you as well, reciprocating that love as best I can. Speaking of which, if you have subscribed to my channel in the past month, please comment below and let me know so that I can give you a shout out in the next video that I do. But anyway, let's get on to that book tag that I've created. For those of you who don't know, a couple of weeks ago, I came up with my own book tag called the Mr. Francie Reads book tag. This book tag started circulating around here and there, and some of you guys actually went ahead and did them on your channels. And I just want to say thank you so much. It was so amazing to watch you guys do this book, this first book tag that I had come up with. I also want to apologize because when I was watching some of them, I was like, like, oh gosh, I've asked you guys some really tough questions, like that A1, find a book that starts with letter A. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but believe you me, it was so much fun watching you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoy this one. If you are any if anything at all like me when it comes to your booktube channel or just reading in general, you like to set goals. I am yet to come across a purely goals written book tag that talks about how you're doing with your goals over the course of different questions for the end of the year. So I thought this is what I would do this time round. So I am calling this my reading goals check-in tag, where we check in on our goals so far for the year. So let's get right into the prompts. Prompt number one, a positive start. Name a reading or channel goal you had at the start of the year that you have already accomplished. I'm going to go with arguably the biggest one that I set for myself. So a quick update for you guys. I did a, a goals video for myself. Uh, I think it was at the end of December or the beginning of January, one of the two for the year. Then in June, I went back and I did a video where I was doing a look back and I vetoed some of those goals and then reset my goals for the remainder of the year. I'm going to talk about a goal that, that was uh, part of the resetting of my goals from June. And the goal that I want to refer to is to do 25 uh, book review videos. I was very specific with this goal because I didn't want to have a loophole for myself to get out of, which was if I do a book review video of one, uh, more than one book in that video, it literally counts as one review because it's one review video, even though it has two or three books in it. So I wanted to do 25 book review videos. I have accomplished this, which makes me so very happy. The downside, kind of, is that uh, I am thinking I probably don't want to do any more book reviews on this channel. I kind of want to mix it up and do other things in its place, but I'm so happy that I accomplished that goal. Prompt number two, I'm so close. Name a reading or channel goal that you are very close to achieving. What was the goal and what do you still need to do? So for this goal, I'm going to talk about my seasonal DNF videos. For those of you who don't know, DNF stands for did not finish. You picked up a book, you put it back down and you don't intend to go back to it. I am a massive advocator of DNFing. If you're not enjoying the book, pick it down and pick up another one. Uh, there's nothing less encouraging for a reader to keep reading than to force yourself to keep reading something that you are simply not enjoying or is just not working for you. So I love this. I go a step further than that and every single season I do a video celebrating all of the books that I DNF'd for that season. I had a goal to do this last year in 2020. I did summer 
and I did autumn, which is what we call fall here in Australia, <laughs> uh, but I did not do winter or spring because I totally forgot about them. This year I have done summer, autumn and winter, and next month I will be able to do my spring one, and um, yes, that will complete it for me. That will be all four seasons. So I'm so close, just one video away. And that makes me so, so, so happy after the disaster that was last year. Prompt number three, help me, Lisa, help me, which is a quote from The Simpsons, by the way. <laughs> Shout it out from the rooftops. Name a reading or channel goal you have that is nowhere near done and you could do with assistance, even if it's just someone sending you some positive energy through the screen as they're watching it. For me, what I would like some positive energy to come through me for would have to be my favourites and non-favourites of the year. So last year, I I did eight videos that discuss my favorites and non-favorites with different categories for each video and I enjoyed seeing them once they were done so much that I decided to do those sets of videos twice this year, once at the halfway mark and once for the end of the year. Because it is eight videos, it is a massive undertaking and because I can't do them till I get to the end of the year, that is eight videos that I'm doing in the month of December. So I am a little bit anxious about it because it is a massive undertaking, but we will see how we go. As far as assistance, any love that you can push through the screen would be greatly appreciated. Prompt number four. Well, that was cute at the time. Name a reading or channel goal that you had that through experience you will not have or will alter for 2022. This is actually a goal that I did veto in June, uh, but it was a goal that I originally had in January, and that was to read one more book from every author that I gave five stars to in 2020. It was really cute at the time. Mm, yeah, it sounded great in theory, <laughs> and then it just didn't happen, and it didn't happen for a number of reasons. Part of that reason was I forgot, the other part of the reason was by the time I remembered, it was just such a massive undertaking to do because I'd given out so many five stars to so many different authors that to get it all done, it oh, just seemed so stressful. So it was really cute at the time, <laughs> but it's not a goal that I'm going to have for 2022. But I'm really intrigued to see what your answer will be for that prompt. Prompt number five, it's just too many. How many reading or channel goals are too many for you? Where do you think the line should be drawn? I would have to say 20 is too many, and I know that there will be others out there that I tag or that just take on the video under the pseudonym, everyone else, please do it, <laughs> um, who will say, two, three, five, ten is too many. I'm going to say 20 is too many because I like setting lots of goals so that I have lots of variation. But even for me, having 20 goals is just too many. But what's the limit for you? Let me know. Prompt number six. It'll happen this month. Name a reading or channel goal you have that you know will be completed by the end of November. And I'm going to go with my comparing my uh, comparison of what I thought about my most anticipated new releases for 2021. Uh, so I did a video in December of 2020 where I listed, I think, about 10 books that I was most eagerly anticipating that were being released this year. I then set a goal in June, when I was vetoing those other ones, to do a comparison video, and I'm going to do that at the end of this month, where I talk about all of those books, where we get to look back on what I thought might be, and then I get to talk about how I actually felt after reading them. That will definitely happen at some point this month, and so I'm really excited to tick that off the list, but I'm also equally excited to film that one because I'm excited to go back and see what I thought back then in comparison to what I know now having read them and one of those books I actually end up DNFing and I think I was incredibly excited to read it so <laughs> it'll be interesting to see how that goes. And finally, prompt number seven. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. Name the goal you have for next year that you are bursting at the seams to tell us. All right, you guys, I do have one. 
and well of course I do because I made up the tag <laughs> but yeah I, I definitely have been, have been sitting on a secret goal that I'm going to have for 2022 and I'm going to tell you what that goal is currently the goal will remain in place but the number may very well change so that goal is to read 12 cozy mysteries by the end of 2022. For those of you who are new here, cozy mysteries are a genre that I was not aware of, even I think up until like May or June of this year, and I thought, you guys, I have eclectic tastes, so I thought I knew every genre, but apparently there was still one waiting in the wings for me to discover. I love hidden gem books, but even more so, I love hidden gem genres. My hidden gem genre of 2020 was dystopians, and man, did I fall in love with them. My hidden gem genre for 2021 was definitely cozy mysteries, and if I can set the goal to read 12 cozy mystery books by the end of 2022, then that averages out to at least one cozy mystery per month. I would now like to change that number to a higher number because I'd like to read maybe even more than 12, but we will see how we go. I don't want to limit myself to a particular sub-genre of cozy mystery, so it doesn't need to necessarily be like a paranormal cozy mystery or a culinary fiction cozy mystery or an animal cozy mystery or whatever. It's just cozy mysteries in general and see how I go. So I'm very excited about that one and have been sitting on it for a while and I can't wait to discuss uh, all of those books that I do read from the cozy mystery genre with you guys for that goal in 2022. Popping back in before we do wrap things up because I forgot to say who I wanted to tag and with this being a completely new book tag that I've created I definitely want to tag you guys so I have a number of booktubers that I want to tag but if you want to go ahead and do this even if I haven't tagged you then please do so. These are just ones that I wanted to give a specific shout out to at this time and that I specifically would love to see them do the tag but anyone and everyone can do it and please let me know if you do. All right here comes my list. I tag Jessica from Lady Lovestead Reads, Stormy from Storm Reads, Tiffany from The Beach Bum Bookworm, Zachary from Books and Bops, Beck from Bewitched Bex, Ashley from Ashley's Media Addiction, Nikki from Nikki's Books, and Monica from I Prime It Up, and anyone and everyone else who wants to do this book tag. I can't wait to see what your answers will be. But that is where I am going to leave it. Letting you guys go. Peace, blessings, and so, so, so much love. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I'll see you again soon. Mwah. Thank you so, so, so much for watching, and happy reading!